Hi, welcome to my video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize and set up Linux Mint Cinema Edition. I will show you how to change the icons and themes, how to install an application launcher and an application dock. Also, I will show you how to change the keyboard shortcut in the system. But before we start, I want to mention that the themes I picked for this video is very similar to the ones I picked for the XFCE episode. The reason I did this is because I want to show you that no matter which Linux distribution or desktop environment you choose to install, you can always customize the look and feel to suit your need. Now let's begin. In order to change the look and feel, we need to create two folders in home directory. So go to home, click on view, toggle the show hidden file, create a folder called dot icons and another one called dot themes. Open up browser, go to cinnamon-look.org, go to GTK3 for themes. You can pick anything you like here. But for this video, I'm going to go to ratings and download this one, Mac Mojave. I'm going to choose the dark theme here. Next, go to full icon themes. Similarly, I'm going to click on rating, download the Mojave circle. I'm going to use the blue theme here. After it's done, go to download folder and extract these two files. Now we need to find the root folder for these themes inside the extracted folders because theme folders usually contain a file called index.theme. So I'm going to check each of these folder. So this is already the root folder for the theme. So I'm going to copy this to the .theme folder. Let's check the other one. So in this folder, it has two subfolders. One of them is blue, the other one is dark theme. So what I need to do is go further to check if these are the root folders for these themes. Clearly, they are. So what I'm going to do is to copy these subfolders to the dot icons folder. After that, we can go to the menu, system settings, go to themes and change everything. All the icons should be changed accordingly. Let's install an application docker. Go to terminal, type in sudo apt update and and sudo apt upgrade. If you see a lot of packages installed during this process, you need to reboot before going forward. Now let's do the installation. sudo apt install plank. Let's start plan. Right click on the panel here, click on move, click on the top red bar. And now we can see the dock. Hold control and right click anywhere on the dock. Open up preference and turn on icon zoom. Now the icon will be enlarged once we have our mouse hovered over. We can also add a trash can here by going to docklets, drag the trash can. What we need to do next is to go to menu, system settings, click on startup applications here. Add a new entry, choose application, choose plank, add applications. Now the dock will start whenever we log into the system. Let's install an application launcher next. Open up browser, search for ulauncher, go to ulauncher.io, click download. Use the Ubuntu link here to download the package. Go to the download folder, double click on it, click on install package, type in password, click continue. After that, we'll have the launcher ready. Click on menu, start your launcher. The message tells us that the hotkey is set to control and space. Click on the gear icon here. Enable this option, launch at login. Close the setting. Now we have the application launcher available every time we log in. And now we can use it to start any program we like. Because your launcher is using control and space as its default hotkey, which will create a conflict in the key bindings. So what I usually do is to change it to Alt space. But as you can see, if I try to change it here, Alt and space is already occupied by the system. So let's fix that first. Go to menu, system settings, keyboard, shortcuts, window. To assign a key binding, double click here. Put in your key bindings and to clear it, double click and use the backspace, you'll be unassigned. Other than close window and activate window menu, I always like to assign a key binding for full screen. I'm a virtual workspace user, so I will usually open here and click on direct navigations. 
I'm gonna assign super and number key to all of these workspaces. The only thing I need to mention is that this won't override the system default key binding to open up applications pinned in the panel. So what you need to do is to right click on the applications bar, go to preferences and configure and disable this option. Enable super and number shortcut to switch and open apps. And now if I click on super and number, you will go to different workspaces. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And please leave a comment if you have further questions. And if you think this video is helping you daily driving a Linux distribution, please hit the like button. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you.